Sometimes, I feel like my skin is the only thing about me that says adult. <laughs> that six feet and facial hair qualify me to be taken seriously, but the truth is, I'm a child at heart. Blanket forts and Flintstones vitamins child. See, sometimes, I feel like my interests are at war with each other. My fondness for Nerf guns and fine wine seems to be a strange combination. I have this bad habit of losing my identity. The other day, I was looking for it on a line between toddler and taxes. I've been told that's where I can find myself. I've been told I need to start acting my age, but I will not be given a coffee cup and be told how to talk. Age is not just a number. It's every piece of sand that fills our hourglass of a life. It doesn't disappear as time progresses. Every age we have ever been lives inside us. We are made of molecules, muscles, and experience. Growth doesn't mean being replaced by something bigger. It's building on what came before. I am every age I have ever been. I wonder how many birthday cake wishes you could find in my bones. How many years is each part of me still holding on to? Skin cells are the fastest growing in the body. So I assume they're the most up-to-date. My skin should be around 19. Old enough to make it seem like I look like I know what I'm doing most of the time. Like most 19-year-olds, my skin is convinced it's strong enough to take on the entire world before it's even seen a scar. I try and make it look like I know how to handle everything, but I suppose anywhere looks beautiful until it's turned into a battlefield. My legs are about 12. Grown enough to run, but not wise enough to walk. I move like I'm trying to be the first one on the roller coaster at Disney World, grabbing everyone's arm to make the move a little faster, always in a hurry. Yet whenever I get anywhere, I still can't stand still. Wherever I am, there's somewhere to go. Anywhere else, here I come. I have trouble being happy with what I have sometimes. My hands. I would say my hands are eight. Right in the prime of my attention deficit disorder. Fingertips like wandering eyes. I distract people with them when I'm talking. Pick my nails without realizing it and tap my desk too loudly in class. These appendages appropriate problems. I grab things too quickly and let go just as fast. This is mainly an issue when trying to hold on to someone else. I'm convinced that the biggest obstacle between me and a meaningful relationship is probably a shiny object. <sighs> I'm told we all regress into children when we go home. And home is where the heart is. My entire chest is still a child. Lungs like my favorite teddy bear I won't let anyone touch. That's why I'm still scared to let you take my breath away. I live like closing my eyes at the scary part. If I don't see you, you can't find me. When the going gets tough, I cover my eyes, ears, and ribs. I'd rather be hidden than vulnerable. I still have trouble letting people in. I'm worried that if I do, it'll tell my heart that it has to start acting like an adult. And I just don't want to grow up too fast. Last poem of the evening.